I think the important thing is when you consistently get comfortable with your body and you recognize what your breasts feel like, you're going to be able to tell the difference. Fat tends not to be a firm thing. It, it, it tends to be softer and a lump itself tends to be more firm. Uh, but fibrocystic changes, especially if you start examining yourself before your menstrual cycle, you're going to feel a lot more cysts and lumps and bumps than you would if you waited till after a period. So I think the best thing is to get comfortable. What does your breast feel like? Confirm this with your healthcare provider and then go from there on a month to month basis. Uh, this is not to be we want to empower you, but we don't want to freak you out that you're going to feel something and then run right away with anxiety. This would be so against the whole point. But I think once you figure out the difference between a, a lumpy texture to a breast and an actual lump, I think you'll have more confidence in what you do. Jay is a surgeon. Do you have um, something to distinguish? No, uh, you, your point is, is really, really well taken. Um, firmness, um, we've got a table talk right in front of me here. That kind of firmness is different. It can be almost wood-like, the wood table right in front of, right in front of me. It, it's going to be different than the tissue surrounding your normal tissue. Now remember, the breast is made up of glandular tissue, which is firmer. It's made up of what's called connective tissue, but these are typically little leaders uh, like a fishing line, kind of Cooper's ligaments and things of that sort. You usually can't feel that. And then normal fatty tissue. And Kathy, you're absolutely right. The normal fatty tissue can, uh, it, well, it is. It's softer. Now, in my world, they're always what we call fake-outs. In other words, <laughs> you can have a fatty tissue area, which has got some heavy connective tissue around it, right. it can really feel like a distinct lump. That's where the ultrasound and the mammograms are, are really helpful. Or you can even get in the breast, like I've got one on my back, a thing called a lipoma, small little fatty tumor, completely benign, but they are more firm than normal. But learn the, the technique that you were showing, the compression technique, and the really firm things are not going to be compressing down like the normal tissue around the firm thing. Fair enough, Kathy? Very good. Thank you.